Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You are now with me, Madam Yadila Binti Adastis from College Medical University Bank in Physics Tutorial. Today, we are going to discuss question on topic 7, additional motion of a rigid body. So, are you ready? So, okay guys, let's see question number 1. An object press begins to rotate with a constant angular acceleration. If this object rotates through an angle theta in the time t, through what angle did it rotate in the time of t? So, in this very question, we need to know what's the best formula that we need to use. So, the question asks for the angle. So, obviously, we need to find the equation of the angle. So, I choose so far. Theta equals to mega t plus half of r t squared. Another keyword here is object is at rest. What does it mean by object at rest? Object at rest means the mechanic is equals to zero. So what happens if the mechanic equals to zero? This one will cancel out. So at time t, Time t of theta is to half of t squared. Okay, remember this one. Okay, time t theta is equal to half of a t squared. What about a time of t? So now I name the theta, theta, theta prime. So theta prime equals to half alpha. We substitute t with half t squared. So we will get alpha t squared. Okay. So we rearrange. Rearrange, so we will get theta prime equals to one over four, one over two, and four t square. Okay, if you notice here, one over two and four t square is actually the theta itself. Okay, so we substitute this one as so when we get theta prime is actually 1 over 4 theta. So, yeah, that's it. Alright, let's see number 2. An object at rest begins to rotate with a constant angular acceleration. If this object has angular velocity omega at time t, what was its angular velocity at the time half t? So the keyword here is object at rest. So object at rest means mechanic equals to zero. Let's start the section. So we can use we can use modify. Alright. So what happens when the mechanic equals to zero? This one will cancel out. So we get of a t at time t so what happened to our omega prime at time half t so we're gonna get one over two of a t Alpha t itself is omega. So it means alpha t is omega. So I'm gonna write here 1 over 2 omega. That's it. Alright, this is the last one for today. Number 3. A flywheel is accelerated in a form from rest. 
equals second. And A is observed. But at the end of the set second, the flow rate will face through an angle 450 radius. Complete with the formula A, the average angle was going to be 6 seconds. B, the angular velocity at the end of the 6 seconds. C, angular acceleration. So, average angular velocity, or omega average, is actually theta 2 minus theta 1, but uh, T2 minus T1. So, the question already gives us theta 2. This is the theta unit again. So, theta 2 is zero divided by six minus zero. So okay here four hundred fifty divided by six is seventy five. So that's seventy five radian per second. Remember the unit is radian per second or omega average. Right here, number two, we can use this equation. Theta equals omega two, omega one plus omega times two. So because it says that before uh, we accelerate this first, so omega one equals zero. So what happens? Second side. So it's going to be omega two. So, Right, last one is for the C, the angular acceleration. So, angular acceleration, we can use okay. So, omega is 0, so we can say 150 plus 2, or 6. So, I have 6. So I hope you get something from this video. Good enough. I hope you enjoy the class. Till we meet again next time. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye. Jangan lupa like, share, and subscribe video ini. Thank you for watching.